The enumerators vowed to never share people's personal information as well as to be honest in the execution of their duties. Office and secrecy is basically just to tell them that they are going into people's households, they are going to get information, collect information, so they need to keep that secret of the information that they have, so they cannot divulge information. So we, it's, it's, when we deal with statistics, we deal with confidential information. Firstly, we need to terminate their contract, and then secondly, this is a law, then the law needs to take its course also, then we take it from there. There are consequences for those who will be found in conflict with the oath. NSA has also released a list of vehicles that will be assisting during the data collection. Shimwafeni explained that in the past, the agency used rental cars, which caused challenges such as high cost and damage of vehicles. We are going to assist people who need this, uh, who need assistance in terms of the vehicles, the, the fueling. We have an agreement with Standard Bank where they can get fuel cards. On a daily basis, they can fuel up up to 150 only for those cars. And that money, we are going to guard it against their daily payment. But if you don't want to use it, if you want to use your own cash and you want to you get the whole package at the end of the day, you are also allowed to do that. Those who applied for their vehicles to be used during the census can visit NSA's website to see if they have been selected. NSA will make use of digital technology in the conduct of enumeration.